the reason I failed with money was because, and I'm not blaming my parents here. This is every parent on earth. I feel like most parents, sure. yep. my parents never trusted me with much money at all. And my parents would always say, no, you're not getting the, what do you need with that kind of money? I <laughs> wanted my kid to have enough money that they could make a bad $10 decision. Um, yep. And so what I did was we gave them a weekly allowance that was double their age. So my hmm. six-year-olds were getting $12 a week and we yep. would go, we would take them to target and they could go buy stuff or they could save it. My kids are so interesting too, throughout their lives. And uh, they learn this about themselves early. My son I, you never saw that money again. When he got $12, <laughs> it just, that money seriously disappeared. What's funny is he's 28 years old. He has 14 rental houses. And I hope he's listening to this because uh, he works for Microsoft as an engineer. He makes so much money, John. I have no idea mm -hmm. how much money he makes, but he makes so much money. He's always still happy to let me pay for stuff. Always yeah. happy to let dad pay wherever we go, wh 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 mm -hmm. whatever we do. Um, because money just disappears. He is a money hoarder. My daughter is much more like me. You put $12 in her hand and you were at target. It was gone. Like within three minutes <laughs> at target, the money was, was completely gone. What, yeah. what was important to me though, wasn't just the allowance. It was then making sure I wrote on my calendar after autumn and I went to target and then she bought something that I knew was not going to be great. A great move. Yeah. Yeah putting on my calendar two weeks later, circling mm. back and going, how do you think that move two, we're two weeks from you buying this not great thing. Yep. Uh, the Dr. Phil, how's that working out for you? Right. And, and, right. It, and it was, it was always uh, not always, but, but in those cases she was like, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Like that was, yeah. yeah. And what's cool is my daughter's really good with money because at a much younger age than me, she learned to pump the brakes like, I'm mm. always going to feel this feeling that I can't control, that I really want that thing right now, and that will change my yeah. life. And then she goes, no, it won't. 